Speaking of great movies, Shannon, what do we have here? We've got the Ghostbusters. Um, we're going to take a break. Oh. I'm going to zoom the camera in. I defeated Simba. So that uh, John can review the figures. Oh, Emily Monsalvo, she just donated to my GoFundMe campaign nice. to uh, save the store. Nice. So, well, there is a GoFundMe site, by the way. Um, if you go to my face, my Facebook page, um, it's right there. If you go to the Geek Out Comics uh, Facebook page, I believe I shared it on there too. So go on GoFundMe, please, and help. Share it on the Comageddon. Donate, page. Uh, donate. I'll share it on Comageddon, and hopefully, you know, I have some money to give them money. <laughs> the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah. So, uh, well, we're gonna take a break. I'm gonna zoom in the camera so that. John can go over these fine figures with you guys. I'll do these, but you gotta do the other ones. Like this one and that one. Okay. Those. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> guys, Action. welcome back to Comic Eden. Uh, I'm uh, going to be doing a review here of the, uh, I don't know if, if you would call them uh, Ghostbusters Legend figures or not, but they're very much based on like the Marvel Legend figures, uh, which are pretty cool. Uh, and of course, we have. Um, Mattel brought out the classic original four of uh, Egon, uh, Ray, Peter, and Winston. Uh, they also brought out the uh, versions of the newer Ghostbusters, which I've actually kind of thought about picking up. Uh, but uh, we're not going to go over those. We're going to go over these. The cool thing about these is, again, the reason why I call them kind of legend, Marvel Legend figures is because they also came with a, I don't know if you call it a Build-A-Figure, but... Uh, we got the little no ghost symbol. Uh, each Ghostbuster came with a piece, uh, which is the first part of the torso, the middle, the back tail, and uh, this thing here. So, and this, oh, and a stand. And uh, this does glow in the dark, but that's not what we want to talk about. We want to talk about these guys here. Now, um, all, all of these have the same sculpt except for the head and Peter's legs. Other than that, the paint job is pretty much the same. They have their names right here. Finkman, Zetmore. We've got Stans. We've got Spangler. Uh, the backpacks are all the same, but very, very detailed. I don't know how well that comes off on screen. But really cool. And uh, their proton wands, which fit in their hands very easily, and are really cool because they're very, very pliable, not very easy to break, and the wands are very bendable. So I mean, you don't have to; they're not very rigid. You could easily get them in their hands, and they also attach to their backpacks, which I have found to be somewhat difficult. See if I can get it on here. Uh, if you don't usually, if you get them in once, you can get them in twice. You can get them in, you know, each time. But I can tell Shannon. These are Shannon's figures, by the way. I left mine at home. I can tell Shannon has never attempted this. So there we go. Fits just like that. And here's something else that's really cool. Check this out. So. Move their hand, uh, arms back a bit. The backpack is totally 100% removable. And there goes the gun. There we go. Just gotta... There we go. And then we got a plain old Ghostbuster. It's the table, by the way. These guys do not have any problem standing whatsoever. And here's a backpack. You can really see now just how detailed that thing is. And a little gun. And it does go back on. Up. Oh, let's see. There we go. There we go. And this is just plastic, but it's very flexible plastic, so it's not like going to break or snap or anything. And they do go on fairly easy. Just bend their arms back 
like that. And it typically just slips right back up. I've done this a, f a few times, so. And then there you go. Backpacks are back on. You can go ahead and put it back in their hands. And then they're ready to go ghost bust, ghost bust hunting. So, now, again, all of these three guys here have the same skull. Um, I, I looked them over carefully. Their legs are the same. The boots are the same. Um, again, the really the only difference with these guys are the heads. So, and then we have Peter, who has the same sculpt except for his legs, because you'll notice the boot. So I'm going to do his articulation and everything last. So we'll go ahead and we'll use Egon. Um, Egon's glasses do appear like if you wanted to, you can remove them. They are supposed to be kind of sculpted and glued in place. So I wouldn't recommend removing them because once you did, you're not going to get them back on. Um, I am going to remove the gun so we can do the articulation here. Okay. So we have the shoulder joints which move out fairly well. These joints are very tight. So they do go up and down. We do have um, no elbow joints. They're pretty much just kind of locked in place. Uh, I mean, there is a joint, but it doesn't go very far. The elbow pads kind of hinder that. So they do go out somewhat but you're not going to get a lot of awesome posability there. The wrists are also movable. But there's no swivel. So, there is a ball joint though, it looks like. So, maybe swivel. Uh, there is no, uh, there is no ab crunch, but we do have wrist or, or waist articulation, which is cool. And it's very tight, it kind of clicks. We have leg articulation, which go forward and backwards. They go out. We've got joints at the knees. And we've got joints at the ankles. But no side-to-side -side swivel. So there you go. And again, the paint job and articulate on uh, these guys are amazing. Uh, there are times when you're staring at these figures on your shelf, and they really do look like Egon and uh, Ray from the, from the movie. I'm having, I am having a hard time getting his phone back in his hand. He doesn't want it back in his hand. He wants to just leave it right there. So we're going to go with Peter now, who um, has the same articulation. Um, the head does doesn't really move too much. It does go from side to side, just like Egon. Um, has the same uh, articulation of the arms and the wrist. The only difference with this is, um, unlike with these figures here, which also has movement at the boot cut, there is no boot cut on this figure. And you also get the pinned joints here on the sides but they do move up and down slightly so with Peter your articulation that's going to be hindered a little bit more than the other figures and again we have that issue with the elbow pads hindering the elbow movement a bit so other than that these are really great figures um, Venkman looks like Bill Murray um, Winston looks just like Ernie Hudson from the movie it looks fantastic the one that really creeps me out sometimes when I look at him is uh, Egon Spangler's uh, Harold Ramis figure here. Because he really does at times look just like Egon from the movie. The only one I really have an issue with is uh, the Dan Aykroyd Ray Stance figure. Because uh, far away he looks great. He looks just like uh, Ray. But if you're close up, I don't know if you can get as close. How close can you get right up there? How close can you get? Uh, times eight, so I'm right up. 
Yeah, from a distance, he he looks spot on, but up close, not so much. No. So that would that would be my only major complaint with uh, that figure. Um, the only thing that would have been really cool with these is uh, what uh, Matty Collector did, and that's add like uh, ghost streams to add and disconnect to the proton uh, wands. Um, maybe they got these really cool like wires attached to them, these clear wires with very immovable. Um, maybe add a, maybe to switch it up a bit, maybe give Ray a ghost trap, a removable ghost trap. Was it ever explained what those tubes are for on their pants? No. No, they were never explained. They just looked kind of cool. So, I mean, but the, to, uh, to the me, it kind of they kind of look like a catheter. Yeah. <laughs> the tubes are attached, by the way. They're non-removable. Non non I don't know why you'd want to. So, um, but not too bad. I mean, for a $20 figure, um, you get removable backpack, a very pliable wand, uh, proton wand. You get a piece to this thing here, which is the no ghost sign. This is another big issue I had. Um, once this thing is put together, if you notice, something seems off about it. I don't know if it's because it just it looks like he's barely sticking out of the no ghost sign or what, but something just seems off. Uh, it's got some weight to it though. You probably could use it as a paperweight maybe. Uh, but it does glow in the dark really well. He's sitting on my shelf at home. Uh, I turn the lights off and that thing is really, really bright. I don't know, can we turn these off and see how well this glows? There we go. He show oh he, he's showing up pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Showed up pretty good there. So alright, well there you go. Um, Ghostbusters classic versions from Mattel. Uh, these have been out since um, the new Ghostbuster movie, the reboot came out. So these are still showing up in uh, Walmart, I think is the only place I've been able to find them. I haven't even seen my Toys R Us, so these might be Walmart exclusives. Uh, the and hardest ones if to you find, haven't gotten this yet, you might want to. I've been wanting to. Yeah, I've definitely been wanting to get that. Um, the hardest ones to find, of course, is Egon. The second hardest would be Winston. Uh, I find Peter and Ray all the time. Those were the last two figures I picked up. Um, the first figures I, I picked up was uh, Winston. No, I'm sorry. The first one I picked up was uh, Egon. Then I picked up Winston when I found him. I got these two at the same time. So, um, they're really My cool. My wife, every time she went to Walmart, she would go Pick to the toy up. aisle and check out she'd call me and say hey do you want this one do you want well yeah um so i think uh i think that does it for these again these are only twenty dollars at walmart uh these are not like the ones on maddie collect the ones on maddie collector came with multiple hands i think uh and different like proton ones or attachments to the proton ones like the streams um these could be a little better uh, like i said uh, a ghost trap would have been nice maybe a pke meter with egon um, maybe Peter could have came with like a little Slimer figure, but again, um, they also came out, I did a review on the Ghostbuster Mystery Packs, uh, which actually has a Slimer in there, so maybe you can use that Slimer with these guys. Um, so I'm hoping for a Series 2. Shannon and I were discussing possibilities, like maybe, um, uh, uh, Dana, Lewis, uh, maybe Janine and, uh, Walter Peck. Those figures would be kind of cool. Uh, or even Gozer. Gozer would have been would be great, or maybe a build a Gozer figure. There you go. So, my, my feeling is they'd probably do a build a Stay Puft though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, which I would rather build a Gozer, just because Stay Puft's overdone. You know, as a kid when or the real a, Ghostbusters maybe, was out. Or maybe we got this right. Maybe we build a Slimer. There you go. We build a Slimer. As a kid when the real Ghostbusters toys came out, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man was usually the hardest one to find. Yeah, couldn't find them. But anyway, uh, the second series would be great. And again, like I said, they also did a line with the new female Ghostbusters too. Uh, their build a figure is actually a uh, what was that uh, ghost character's name? Um, Vincent? No, no, no. Uh, yeah. It started with a V, didn't it? I can't remember. The main okay. Well, the main villain, Ghost, 
that's the build a figure in that. And so uh, you can check on Amazon, Walmart.com, all that. Uh, Holtzman is the hardest one to find because she she's is currently the, sold out everywhere. She's the most popular character. Yeah. The ones that you find mostly are the um, the uh, I can't even remember that Melissa McCarthy character. Uh, who's the uh, who's her friend in that movie? Who's the uh, actress? Uh, Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig figure. Those are the ones uh, you find the most. Uh, Holtz is harder to find, but as is the Patty one. So uh, if you can find them, pick them up. I mean, they look really cool. Um, and if you're a true diehard Ghostbuster fan, you know, probably need it for your collection. Like I said, I plan on picking them up at some point. Man, right before we went to see the new Ghostbusters movie. They were all on clearance. We, we were at Walmart, and they, it had Holtzman there. I, w I was going to pick her up. I was like, eh, I don't know. You I'm... wanted to wait until the movie came yeah. out to see if you even liked the yeah. movie. Yeah, that's why I didn't pick her up. Then as the soon as the movie things. came out, Gone. couldn't find Gone. her anywhere. I want the Ghostbuster card, the new Ecto-1 that they got for the minis. I want that. I don't I really care it. for that. I liked it. We went over this. So. Well, that's my review for the Ghostbusters uh, classic figure from my Patel. Uh, I think that, is that do it for the show? Yeah, I think so. Um, we're getting kind of bugged out. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Um, why don't you go over real quick uh, what people can expect on Baron Von Goulstein's Horror Talk. Um... There's going to be, well, it's, it's as the um, title says, it's going to be horror talk. It's going to go over the uh, newest horror films that are out. He's going to go over various um, topics, uh, favorite um, favorite horror, horror actor and horror hosts. And, uh, basically, it's going to be like it's a, an interaction between fans. And, so if you have questions for the Baron, he'll answer them, I'm sure. Uh, he's a very versatile person. Very funny, if I may add. Kind of handsome. I think um, if we can get a YouTube show on Come Again TV from the Baron, that would be good. That would be good. Hey, we could do that. Um, so, and again, that right, that right there right now is on his official Facebook page live. Uh, so, and we'll work on trying to get him on the Come Again YouTube page as well. Yeah. Um, what can people expect from uh, Geek Talk Live? Geek Talk Live. Geek Talk Live. Well, we'll go over various topics. Again, uh, mostly comic book related. and um, We'll just talk geek. We'll... No, right you're now, not, there, right you're now, not, not no... going to speak geek to them because that's Amber's geek. But there literally is no exact day for that show to air. It's just kind of like, hey, show's and on. Well, we'll have to actually set something up to where... It'll be on YouTube as well. We'll we'll do Geek Talk Live on Facebook, and then a special just Geek Talk for YouTube. Yeah, which is typically Comic Game. <laughs> yeah, but since it's going to be a little bit harder for us to get together... For not Comic really, not really. You know what? We could use my basement. That's true. And there's a spot for the sign in the basement. But see, so. it, it's hard for me with the kids and everything. That's true. That's kind of why... Part of the reason I think you want to stay home and take care of the kids as she's supposed to. Oh, the man! No, I, don't don't <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see you get your ass kicked by your wife. That's every other night. <laughs> um, so, well, I'm John Wars. I'm Shannon Cornthwaite, and we're gone. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my pizza that I forgot the store. <laughs>